The AOA scandal remains one of the most infamous mistreatment incidents in K-pop history. Now, four years later, many are curious about the members' current relationships. Are they still close, or did the scandal permanently damage their relationship? Despite having a flawless discography and a great career, the only thing that AOA are unfortunately remembered for is their mistreatment scandal. As you might remember, in July 2020, Mina, a former member of the group, made a shocking post on Instagram saying that she had endured mistreatment for 10 years, primarily accusing Jean mean the group's leader of verbally and physically tormenting her. Although Mina stated that she cherished her time with AOA, she said that the ongoing mistreatment severely affected her mental health, leading her to self-harm and even consider taking her life. According to her, this pain contributed significantly to her decision to leave the group in May 2019. Mina also said that she struggled to maintain close ties with her bandmates, feeling like the other sided with Jimin, saying that she had only remained close to Jimin. Additionally, three years ago, Dispatch released transcripts of conversations from the members' visit to Mina's home, capturing what was said during their attempt to address her claims. Now, even with so much time passed, curiosity remains strong about where the members stand with each other today, and if any sense of unity or friendship survived after all that unfolded. Following the scandal, the seven AOA members became active on social media once again, showing subtle signs of support by liking each other's posts and interacting now and then. The members kept some interaction going after the scandal, with Dohua and Yejong joining forces to do a dance cover of Taylor's Swift's Look What You Made Me Do, and also a cover of 10CM's Phone Cert. Later on, Dohua also teamed up with Sol Hyun for a cover of Little Mix's Wasabi. Since then, however, their public interactions have been few and far between. Then, on January 11th of this year, it was revealed that member Yuna would be married the following month. While fans were happy after hearing the announcement, they were also curious about which members would be invited, or if any of them would attend. After departing from the company in December 2020, Yuna left her music career behind to become a yoga instructor. Instructor. This change explained her lack of posts about the group or its members, leading many to question whether they stayed in touch at all. Then, when the wedding happened, fans realized that only Hyejong and Dohwa had attended it. Even though the closeness between the three could be explained by the fact that they were in the AOA Cream subunit together, it still raised questions about why other members like Jimin, Solhyun, or even Chua didn't attend. It was even stranger that Jimin wasn't at the wedding since she had apparently gone to a pre-wedding gathering hosted by Yuna. Aside from the wedding, some of the members have hung out and publicly supported each other in what they're doing. Jimin and Solhyun were clearly among the closest members of the group, and their bond remained just as strong after the scandal. Nearly a year after the mistreatment accusations, in November 2021, they celebrated Halloween with friends, and Solhyun posted a story on Instagram showing them in matching t-shirts. By March 2022, they took a trip together, sharing photos of their food adventures, though they didn't post any pictures of just the two of them. Later that month, Solhyun uploaded her first pictures with Jimin in a long time, reassuring fans that their friendship was still intact despite everything. Since then, they have consistently supported each other and shared updates, which is truly heartwarming to see. On the other hand, Dohua appeared to have kept in touch with all the members. She attended Yuna's wedding, did an Instagram live stream with Jimin, and shared Jimin's music on her profile to support her on the release. Jimin also went to see Dohua's play, and the two teamed up for an episode of SBS's radio show Young Street, suggesting they remained close. Dohua posted a picture of Sol Hyun's poster for the beer brand Cloud on her Instagram story, calling her pretty. This hints that the two are on good terms as well. Additionally, the members showed their support for Dohua during her time on Queendom Puzzle, indicating that they still hold a lot of affection for their maknae. Aside from this, there weren't many noteworthy interactions between the members. Jimin and Solhyun kept hanging out together, and the other members liked each other's pictures occasionally, but this was it. Overall, people seemed to agree that while they might not be as close as before, they still maintained a good relationship and kept in touch. Hyejong managed to prove everyone wrong though, as on an October 2nd interview on Tak Jehoon's YouTube channel, she revealed that the group's members aren't particularly close. During the interview, Tak Jehoon asked about AOA's current status. She explained that although the group hasn't officially disbanded, their time together feels like it's over, with each member now supporting the others from afar. Discussing Chua's departure, Hyejong expressed her respect for Chua's decision to pursue her own path and dreams, adding that she had no regret or sympathy about it. She was also asked who she thought was doing better out of all the members, but Hyejong was respectful about it, saying that they had gone in different directions and they were all doing well. The real shock came when she admitted that, although she keeps up with the members' lives on Instagram, she isn't actually in touch with any of them right now. It came as a surprise, especially since there were once close bonds within the group, even after their public issues. For example, Hyejong and Mina kept a friendly relationship despite everything, and in 2022, Mina shared photos of them together on Instagram. Hyejong was also known to be close to Solhyun, so hearing that she wasn't in contact with any of them 
them was shocking. She was also asked about AOA's future activities or whether the members had reconciled, but she kept her answer simple, saying that they weren't in touch, so she didn't have any information. Netizens had a lot of thoughts about this interview. Some said that the situation wasn't as shocking, especially considering everything that had happened. The girls may have had a close bond at one time, but they eventually went their separate ways, joining different companies and pursuing different careers. It's understandable that they weren't as close as they once were. A commenter wrote, It's better for everyone involved to move on. It's not like friendships are forever. Even if they had disbanded on friendly terms, they probably wouldn't be actively in each other's lives. Others said that being in the spotlight since they were young, with some pretty intense schedules, must have really distressed the girls. And it's no wonder they're trying to put that part of their lives behind them. However, people were thrown off once again when in October 2022, Mina posted two pictures on her account with none other than Chua. The post was made with the caption, I was going to keep this for myself, but since Sangha shared it, I'll release it too. And even fondly referring to Chua as Chua Uni. Netizens were shocked by the interaction, but also pleased, making comments like, It's been so long since we've seen this pair, and I hope they sing together again. Others were convinced that Mina didn't have good intentions, warning Chua to stay away from her. They also called Mina an attention seeker for posting the picture, even though Sangha was the one who posted the picture first. Most people, though, were happy that the members had reconciled to some extent, but to fans, it wasn't very surprising that the two are still in touch. They had a close relationship while in the group, and even after Chua's departure in 2017, Mina was one of the few members who still kept in contact with her. So, to have them reunite after everything that happened is not as strange as some people made it out to be. Now that the group and the relationship between them came to public attention once again, Mina took the chance to speak out about what happened. In a lengthy post, she discussed several past controversies, including her ex-boyfriend, the hotel smoking incident, and the situation with Jimin. Regarding that situation, she mentioned enduring pain for a decade, which led her to use harsh words toward Jimin. Mina explained that after leaving the group, her anger boiled over due to the mistreatment she faced, including being hit and insulted. She also expressed regret for sharing her self-harm images online, acknowledging the impact on her younger fans, and vowed to not bring these issues up again, saying that she would be focusing on moving forward. At the end of her post, she wrote, I know there are many who dislike me, but for the few fans who support me, I will continue to live brightly and work hard. As it always happens when Mina makes a post, the reactions from netizens are divided. Some people were skeptical of her statements, claiming that she wasn't taking responsibility for her actions and was still blaming Jimin. Commenters also said that she should have mentioned Jimin by name and apologized to her directly, with one user saying, Still no apology to Jimin, you would think if she was really sorry she might mention the witch hunt she forced upon her. However, others pointed out that this was the best course of action for Mina, to acknowledge everything publicly, apologize, and promise to do better, and it appears like she's already doing so. Back in August, it was revealed through a source that Mina was planning to make a comeback via a multi-channel network, indicating that she was slowly returning to the entertainment industry online rather than jumping straight back. The source also mentioned that she is open to acting again if the right opportunity comes along and that she has grown stronger, now better able to handle online criticism. A few days later, her official fan cafe announced the Quan Mina 2024 activity plan, outlining her goal to reconnect with fans through YouTube and online broadcasts in 2024, with further details about her schedule to be provided later. She appears to be improving both mentally and in her career, so we hope she finds peace and can lead a normal life after everything that's happened.